Hi everybody, welcome back! Sipsopolis! Oh my lord, look at this view, look at this view! It's a hazy morning in Sipsopolis, our mega tower, the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower, is standing proud on its own, a beacon of Sipsopolis, look at that. Everybody will want to flock towards uh, this Blade Runner Mega Tower-esque looking Mega Tower in memory of uh, Tom Clark. Uh, Sipsopolis is really shaping up, look at that. We got a whole bunch of rich people living here in, in these swanky apartments. Uh, there's an injury at the apex apparently. Uh, we've also got the Academy, we're making a whole bunch of control net points. Uh, we're researching the fusion power plant, which is uh, well on its way. Look at that, 34%. Uh, we're in the green, 2,280 big ones an hour. We have 46,000 sitting in the bank. Uh, what do we need to do today in Sipsopolis? Uh, it's a good question. It's always the question that you should start up. Uh, or start off with uh, when you begin your day as mayor of a uh, big city. In this case, um, Sipsopolis is fairly big. I mean, it has a mega tower. Uh, it has a population of 36,045 people, uh, which is kind of nuts, and has uh, zero education as far as I can uh, recall. Did we make any schools? I don't think we have yet. Uh, so maybe schools is something that we could think about doing. Uh, we could also do with increasing the speed up to uh, Cheetah. Is that Cheetah or is that Llama? Sorry, we are in Llama mode now uh, without the uh, horrible sounds that a Llama makes. It's kind of like a goat and they do the, the spitting thing like camels do. You know when camels get uh, very agitated, like if you don't ride them properly or whatever, they spit, um, camel spit out between the gap in their front teeth because they have those big, like, gappy front teeth. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I sure know what I'm talking about. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, camels and llamas, basically the same thing. Uh, and they should both never be trusted, especially uh, when their mouths are open and they're poised to do some sort of spit on you. Uh, look at the traffic near the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower. I can't believe how packed... Uh, the road is. Uh, it, this is like a real traffic hotspot. We're gonna have to get those Skyway things to link together all of our mega towers. Apparently, that's a huge decongestant of traffic. Uh, something worth looking into. Uh, we could maybe think about uh, connecting this road up and raising it up and over, like making some sort of cool overpass and then connecting it directly. Uh, to this road, which is not being used at all. Look at that, we're getting no regional traffic. Nobody wants to use this road, it's left untouched. I did it on purpose so that traffic could flow properly. Uh, and now it's getting all congested down here. So maybe that's something we can look at doing. We have, how many levels do we have in this big bastard? Six levels, holy shit. So, oh my god, one of the levels is actually on fucking fire. What? I never thought that this could happen. Look! Oh my lord! <laughs> the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower is on fire! Who did that? Who was so careless? You need to be extra vigilant in a Mega Tower, especially if you live in one. And you should not be smoking in the mall of a Mega Tower either. Crap! Holy shit, I bet you the fire engine is stuck in traffic now too. All fire trucks are responding. This will not do. We do not want our Mega Tower... Uh, to be flushed down the toilet. We're gonna have to add another garage to the fire station. Also, let's put the fire alarm bell on top of the garage here. There we go. We now have fire coverage available for neighbors, which is a good goddamn thing. Uh, and we should have some extra trucks, uh, which should be able to respond uh, to the dis Oh my lord. Okay, the whole thing didn't collapse. However, the mall level has been di completely disintegrated. I don't know if it can be rebuilt. We can repair it for- Holy shit! Holy shit, that is so punitive! Look at that! It's gonna cost us 13,000 to fix the mall level! <laughs> it was so profitable too! Maybe that's why it caught fire! Maybe the profits were just on fire and actually caused a physical fire and burnt out the entire mall level. Holy shit! You learn something new every day! We're gonna repair the mall level for 13,000 big ones, I can't believe it. Oh wow. Holy shit, that was a very satisfying animation. I was not expecting that. Uh, but if it ever happens again, I look forward to seeing that again. I think that's great. Alright, we now have the extra fire truck capacity that we're going to need to deal with any future fires in the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower. 
Fuck, I can't believe it. Tom Clark will be just spinning in his grave. I bet you he can't believe it that his mega tower caught fire, especially the mall level. Man, people must have just been shopping and the stuff was leaving the shelves like hotcakes, which caused a fire. That's the only scientific theory I have behind uh, the events of this day. My god, what is the day actually? It's November of year two. Uh, forever we will remember this day as uh, the day that the mall level caught fire and uh, was burnt to a crisp in the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower. What a sad day. Uh, what else can we build on this? We have enough to add another um, platform or whatever uh, level to the Mega Tower. I want to see what these caps look like. So let's see. What do we need? Uh, apparently, we need uh, lots of very wealthy people and uh, we need some stores for those wealthy people to be able to shop in uh, once they move in. Holy shit. Uh, oh, oh, I'm wrong. I was assuming that level eight was the cap. It's not. You actually get level seven, eight plus a cap. So actually, it is potentially nine levels. Wow, mega indeed. That is quite the tower. Do we want any services? Look at that, holy crap, 2,000 desks. Educate kids not only from your mega tower, but also from your city and even neighboring cities. Educated sims recycle, pollute less, and cause less fires. Whoa. I had not considered this as a viable alternative to just normal schools in the city. But actually, I'm thinking that maybe an education level in the mega tower could be the way forward uh, for Sipsopolis instead of having like a bunch of crappy schools and stuff. Wow. We're going to have to sort out the traffic in front of the Mega Tower if that's going to happen, though, because uh, all of a sudden, uh, people who don't necessarily live or shop in the Mega Tower will be coming to the Mega Tower to drop off their stupid-ass kids to school, which is not very good. Uh, I don't know how we're going to actually improve this area for traffic and stuff. We're going to have to see. What, what is this even? It's a high-density street. Okay. It could be... We could do with it being maybe something a little bit... Uh, more like an avenue or something. I think it's a bit late now, though. I think it's a little bit too late. I think uh, the best we can do is maybe demolish all of these buildings, take this road out, and then connect uh, a high-density street uh, to an avenue, another avenue, which will then connect to this avenue. I think that's probably the best that we can do. Or maybe have some sort of cool overpass or something that leads around into here. I'm not sure yet. Actually, for once, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, in this situation. I would love to have raised roads all over the goddamn place, swirling in and out uh, graciously, uh, dipping and diving and uh, and soaring up in the sky. But I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're going to have to see. All I know is that this mega tower is uh, currently my pride and joy. And also, I'm quite thrilled with the academy as well, uh, which is 56% towards researching the fusion power plant, which is going to... Uh, really free up this area here there's a lot of turbines here and it's just a matter of time before one of those blades goes flying off the uh, pole uh, and then just has a ripping good time right through sipsopolis maybe cuts down the mega tower or possibly the top of this building wouldn't that be something kurzweil pharmaceutical just loses the dome of its roof because of a uh, stray turbine blade uh, that just went soaring and uh, and cut it off wah wah wee wah uh, what's this? You got a quest for me? It's Dr. Vu again. I don't want to talk about Dr. Vu. Jeez. Stop it. This, I bet you this is Dr. Vu too. Hello, doctor. It, I don't want to go evil either. No thanks. Stop asking me about Maxis Man and Dr. Vu. I do not want to know. Great. Okay. That, that sure showed them. Or told them. I, I don't think they're going to be able to do much about that. Uh, okay. Fine. So, 41,308 in the bank. We need 70 grand before we can make this education level. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to add an education level to the Mega Tower. And then we need to start thinking about how we're going to cap it off, too. And if we need anything else. Let's see what our demands are like. I think all we need now is, like, highly, highly wealthy people. So, we need uh, Dr. Phil... And Uncle Phil's friends to all start turning up to Sipsopolis. We could probably do with expanding out this rich area a little bit. Uh, let's do that. Let's get a high density street because we're going to want to have like apartments. Let's go for arced roads. And look at this. We're going to do a nice arc down here. Oh, look. This is what I'm talking about. Look, this is going to be real nice. Look, a nice drive on the shore. Look at this. We're going to have it like loop around like this. Oh, oh, God, yeah. And then we'll have it go straight like this. I do like another fantastic loop. Let's 
gonna like just meet up here and then it'll come around here and holy shit this this could be the greatest road I've ever planned in my life I like that I like the shape of it I like that it's not just like a perfect grid I like that it's like sort of broken all the rules of a traditional grid is that gonna oh well we've lost a house in the process but I think it was worth it look at that it's looking great. We just need to futurize this road somehow. We're going to do that with a park. Oh, look, I never noticed this. The M and the N for raise road and lower road. It's just been there hiding the whole time. Look, I've only just noticed it now. It's not very uh, visible. They should have like a big thing that just comes up on the screen that just says N, lower road. I think that would be really good. And actually, maybe if that voice also came in too, that would be pretty cool too. Um... God, we could have like a connecting road that does like an overpass over here. Do we? No, we don't want to do that. It's a little bit useless, actually. Although, it'd be nice to get some more road like inside here. Uh, like maybe join it like here and do like another loop around and in so that we can fill it all up. Fill up all this like empty space. I think that might be good. Uh, let's try it out. We're going to have to do something like... Uh, this, uh, I'm sorry whoever lives there, you're not going to be too pleased uh, about what's uh, just about to happen to your house uh, in the form of it's getting knocked the hell down. Uh, but we need to build a road uh, here, and it's just tough shit, unfortunately. So, see you later. R just rip in hell, or, or wherever it is that you want to rip. Um, and we want to do some sort of, like, loop looping sort of arcing thing like this potentially this oh this is gonna be nice oh look at this oh this is really good already look we want to have some sort of like loop here to like have it like loop up uh we don't really want it to be like straight like that but i think we're gonna have to maybe have it straight to there and then go like that that's sort of arcing properly ish and then have it like there! That looks kind of good. We're going to knock down two more houses, but it's fine. We're going to build plenty more where those were. Look, already somebody's decided to move in. Great. Okay, let's get some parks down. We want some uh, super high wealth parks, like another Millennium Plaza. What is the uh, area of effect of this one is very good, actually. Look at that. It almost covers this whole area. So if we just had like another one over here, potentially... These things are kind of expensive. I mean, 4,800 big ones. That's nothing to laugh at. That's a lot of money. And 480 an hour. I tell you. Uh, so if we place this like here, uh, that's like a really big influencing area that we could potentially get into super high wealth again. Look at this. High tech industry develops in the city. Smart sims develop new technology to make their lives easier. What a bunch of smart bastards. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, the whole area now uh, is going to be super ultra wealthy. Uh, we just need to close this, build some house. What the fuck has happened to the roads? Why have they gone all crazy like this now? That didn't look like that two minutes ago. It was like all nice and rounded. Is it because there's just like a little mixture of uh, old and new? Is that why there's like a little bit of a some like some some jagged edges? Possibly. And we're going to have to, like, put something else in here to, like, futurize it. What could we possibly put in here that's going to futurize it? Oh, maybe we can put, like, um... Is there any options in, um, like, schools? Future school? No. Future police? No. Is there a future clinic? No. Future fire station? No. Future dump? New aerospace plant opens in the city. Rejoice! Man, I am pretty happy about an aerospace plant opening in the city, actually. I don't mind admitting. Uh, what about formal? Is there any future stuff here? No sports. All right, we're going to have to put an AR th athletic center in here, in amongst uh, this area here, like potentially here, uh, so that we can futurize the area. Is that going to work? Yeah, it has, except for, like, look at down here. We're going to have to put another one. I fucking, holy shit, that's kind of annoying, actually. And uh, what the hell has happened to our money? God, our budget's just taken, like, a gigantic shit from hell for some reason. Uh, okay, let us uh, then place a whole bunch... Oh, look at this. This is going to be nice. Look at all the area that this has to expand. Holy crap. It's going to be a little bit of a busy road, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to have uh, more houses like this. There we go. Lots of room for expansion. Uh, and then any uh, areas where... Oh, like, look at this. It's like Mansion City down here. Look at all the mansions. Oh my god, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
11, oh, 11, 12 mansions, 13 mansions. There's 13, this is like 101 Dalmatians. We're going to have 101 mansions popping up. 14? Look at this. The uh, the lady uh, that's outside waiting for the puppies to be born is just like having some sort of conniption right now as, as the count keeps going up. 14 fucking mansions. Some of them ultra futuristic. Others traditional. Look at that. That actually does look like Uncle Phil's mansion. Let's get a nice zoom in here. There it is. Look. All you gotta do now is imagine the music from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air starting up. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look, he's actually moving in. Look, the Fresh Prince has turned up in his garbage truck and he's getting out and he's like, Hey, home, smell you later. And he's going to live with his Uncle Phil uh, in West Philadelphia. Or oh, sorry, no, in Beverly Hills. Uh, Uncle Phil, of course, uh, does not live in West Philadelphia. Uh, but look at this. Holy shit. The rich people of uh, Sipsopolis are living it up. Look at that. Nice coastal views. You can't get any closer to the coast. Uh, without actually falling into the sea. Uh, so there you go. Fantastic. Good stuff. Um, that will, over time, build up. Uh, it's got the density it needs to become uh, high density. In the end, the roads are all high density. Uh, and look at this. These people are already happy enough to start making the move into medium and, and then aspiring to high density. Uh, so that's very good. Fusion power plant, not far off. We're at 90%. We're going to actually be able to place one of these before long. Uh, and no more fires at the Mega Tower, which is uh, very, very good. We'll be able to add that education level on uh, in no time, actually. Look at that. We have 1,788 big ones coming in per hour. Uh, and we've just hit 40,432 uh, in the reserves. Uh, and a nice uh, thriving population of 37,980 chumps living in Sipsopolis right now. How is this area of town doing? Probably not amazing. Uh, there's a couple of like services and utilities over here. Sewage um, processing is going fairly well. We're creeping up to capacity uh, and we're pumping out a shit ton of water. Holy crap. And we're all connected up to control net, which is very good too. Uh, is this the aerospace um, factory? It must be. Poor City Hall is just sitting here in the middle of this dump, and uh, people are dying all around Well Street Place, apparently. Uh, this has just become, or heading into, high density, and it's, uh, well, medium wealth. It's not bad, actually. I think most of our low wealth people are living in the uh, Tom Clark Memorial Tower, uh, which is very good. Okay. Uh, that's probably enough uh, for this episode. Uh, we've made this little area down here for the rich people. The rich people have started to move in. Uh, we're trying to tackle this. We're trying to tackle this massive demand for rich people. Uh, the more rich people we can get in, we can unlock this. Uh, we can unlock these other mega towers, the super elite ones. And I think actually we do have them unlocked. We just need to save up a whopping sum of 224,000 big ones before we can place one of these. But ideally, I would love to get one like in in around here god just like as like a sort of like a central pillar to the wealthy community of sipsopolis i think that would be fantastic okay great uh that can all wait for next time uh i will leave you for now love you and leave you as usual and uh and also say uh my traditional as usual thank you very much for watching me play sim city cities of the future of tomorrow or whatever it's called future cities simulator two million five thousand or, or whatever and um yeah thanks for watching and uh i'll see you next time